video I'm going to be showing you how I apply this unit I did go ahead and bleach the knots on this closure because it did not come bleached and as you can see I kind of over bleached it but I'm going to show you how to fix that mistake if you do make that mistake so you could have like I could have went in with like some brown color and colored the roots however I just did not feel like doing all of that so I'm going to show you how you can fix it without going in with any hair color. Before we get into applying this wig, I definitely want to show you the inside and the construction on the wig. So of course you get your combs. This is a 13 by 6 closure. You get your combs in the inside. You get your adjustable band. We can adjust it to your head size. And then we're just going to go ahead and try it on, see how it fits. And voila. So here is how we are looking just straight on. Before we get into applying this wig, I did want to show you how I molded it down. So this is what it looks like after shampooing and just letting it air dry for about two days. So now I'm just going in with some setting foam and I just applied it all over. Y'all go crazy with the setting foam. And now I'm just brushing it and I'm going to go ahead and part it and mold it down the way I want it to go. I go in with my brush and just brush down any flyaways and I just want it to be as flat as possible. So foaming mousse is going to be your best friend, okay? And I didn't want to flat iron or curl the hair, so that's why I'm using flexi rods. And the clip where I was actually flexi riding the hair, y'all, I lost that clip. I cannot find it at all, but I used a lot of flexi rods mainly because I wanted it to be full and just like really, really curly. So I used a lot. Depending on the look that you want, you can either use less flexi rods or bigger flexi rods now to mold my hair I just put it in a ponytail sometimes I do braids sometimes I just put it in a ponytail and um, a low bun and let's apply this wig all right so we're gonna try to apply this unit with the flexi rods in so let's go ahead and do this so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the ear flaps and that is just going to help your wig sit better and I don't know the first two years of me applying wigs y'all I could not understand how to cut ear flaps but it definitely makes a difference with how your wig sits and glues down and just stays down so now I'm just cutting the lace in the front as you can see I'm not doing a straight line I'm doing like a little zigzag jagged line I love, love, love to use my bold hold, liquid gold, to put down my wig. So that's what I'm applying now. I just did one layer. I let that sit for about maybe 30 seconds. Then I go in, or just until it's dry. Then I go in with another layer. And now I'm just holding it for a little bit. I'm also going to go over it with the blow dryer on cool setting. But before I do that, as you can see, I'm just taking the end of the rectal comb and I'm just pressing down that lace to make sure you know no pieces are like folding back or anything like that so now I'm just going to take a few of those flexi rods out mainly because I'm going to wrap my hair I'm going to tie it down now so I couldn't do it with the flexi rods in but you see that curl like baby that curl looks so good so, so, so. So I do like to just use a blow dryer. You don't have to do that. It's optional. You can just tie it down and just keep it going, keep it moving. So I'm just holding that ear flap down because if I don't, the ear flap will come up. It just really takes a lot for the ear flaps to stay down for me. So I really, really have to really hold it, hold it down for a while. 
and for some extra 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 security i'm going to go in with my spray this is the even new york and i believe this is the extra or stream hole i like the red can and i like the black can so now i'm just holding those ear flaps so after my lace is you know down I'm going to go ahead and get that crease out because the flexi rise did leave a crease and I'm just going to go with the, um, what are those called, the hot comb just to make sure everything is flat. So here's a trick right here, okay? Take you some mascara, girl. If you over bleach your knots, take you some mascara and light handedly just go over it with mascara, take your comb comb it through you may have to do that a couple times and just go back and forth back and forth but I promise you it will get the job done okay doesn't that look so much better compared to those over bleach knots so that's gonna do it until I decide to go back in with some color to cover it up and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my sideburns and to mold my sideburns, I just take some setting foam and mold those. I'm taking the rest of these Lexi rods out. And girl, these curls are just giving me life. They're giving everything that they need to give. I also like to just spray the Even New York spray just to tame any flyaways. So I just sprayed it and I'm just going to go over it with the comb just to lay all of those flyaways down. And with the hot comb that just seals it and just keeps it in place. At this point I'm being real extra because I really didn't need to do this again but I'm, I tied my edges up one last time just to make sure that it was down. And now I'm just fixing my makeup. But girl, this wig came out so good. I hadn't flexi ride a wig in a very long time, but this is going to be my way to go because I get so tired of trying to curl these wigs because this wig right here is 180% density. It's a body wave. It's a 13 by 6 closure, 22 inches long. Who has time to curl all of that hair? Not me. So now I'm just going to go in with some oil sheen because I am going to separ separate the curls, but I wanted to spray the oil sheen so it wouldn't get frizzy or anything like that. So that helps with that so if you want to comb your curls make sure you kind of put some oil or something on it before you do that but all the links will be listed down below for this unit if you want to try it out if you're interested of course they have a lot of different other units on their website so just check them out finished look finished look get into it honey get into it like these curls are beautiful beautiful I love it this unit is from wet kiss hair if you enjoyed this video make sure you check all the links down below so you can get this unit honey if you are feeling it as much as I'm feeling it girl Ugh. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And plus, I think it's the fact that I haven't worn a wig in like a month and a half. And it's just giving everything she needs to get. So I'm here for it. But if you guys are interested in this unit, click all the links below. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.